Previously on Life of Herbs. Religious phase. Yes. I was cool with you going to church on Sundays, even though you leave at 9am and come back at 3pm. But it's not just Sundays. It's Wednesday evenings, Thursday evenings, and sometimes Saturday mornings. I mean, like, come on. No, he has to move out. I love him, but us living together is a direct conflict with what I believe in. It's the elephant in the room. Not everyone has had the opportunities you've had and continue to have. Not everyone has had the chances like you. After all, aren't most of your peers doctors or lawyers or married? So the caller that's just kind of highlighted that this is just TV. Um, on the one note, I agree with you. It is TV and it's not the beginning or end of life, but it's a big deal because what happens is that we have TV characters who become iconoclasts, as it were, you know, people who are everywhere, in every magazine, on every billboard, um, on E! channel, on your reality TV shows, on your daughter's Instagram, on her Twitter feed, and so really these people are actually impacting on these children's day-to-day -day lives. I mean, I'll be choosing to do that. Sometimes your children see and care about what these people are saying far more than they care about what you're saying to them. And I think it's important... So, Laura, how is your preparation going for the Gambia? Good, thank you. Um, have you been to see the GP and got enough insulin prescription? Yes, Mummy. Okay. Oh, I had to go into your car to borrow that Mariah Carey CD and I smelt smoke in the car. Has your doctor friend been smoking in your car again? Oh, um, hold on. Ugh, I told you you shouldn't let people smoke in the car, especially with your condition. You'd think as a doctor she would know better. <laughs> Dad, do you have anything you'd like to say? Actually, yes. Lara, I'm sorry for getting angry with you the other day. Well, that's okay. But we are worried about you. About what? Me and your mother have spoken in depth about this. Well, we thought it might be best if you moved out when you come back from the Gambia. You're kicking me out? We are not kicking you out. We just want to give you some independence to find your own way. I realised it was wrong for me to try and push into my business. I can't believe this. My own parents are kicking me out of my own home. And for what? Laura. No, thank you. Thanks a lot. This was your idea. Hi, Sister Valentine. Michelle, how did you find the session? It was amazing. God is really speaking to you in these meetings, sister. Oh, wow, thank you. I'm glad you enjoyed it. Is everything okay, Michelle? Um, yes. I mean, no. Ashley, can I speak to you about something, please? Oh, yes, of course. Why don't you take some of this stuff and I'll give you a lift home. That way we can talk and you won't be too late, huh? Oh, thank you so much, Sister Valentine. Your car is so sexy. Oh, my God. Thank you. Your life just seems so perfect. Believe me, I'm far from perfect. We all have our struggles, Michelle. I don't know about that. What did you want to talk to me about? It's about a guy. Okay. I've been seeing him for about six months now. And I really like him. And he says he really likes me. And I'm really happy about... But what? Look, I know I come here every week at Soul Group. And I know that you and Sister Monroe go on and on about sex and fornication. And I get it, I do. But please don't judge me. Believe me, Michelle, I'm not judging you. We've been having sex. I love him, I do. But he's not a Christian. Well, he says he is, but he doesn't go to church or pray or read the Bible. Every time I think about God, I feel so convicted. I know what I'm doing is wrong, Sister Valentine. But it's like I can't help it. I know he's been talking about us moving in together. And if I'm honest with myself, I'd love to. And my parents don't mind either because they're not saved. But I just know that'd be so wrong. What do you think, Sister Valentine? Contraception. What? Contraception and condoms is what you need. If you're not willing to be abstinent, that's what you need.
Kaima. Kaima, what's wrong? It doesn't matter. You wouldn't understand. Uh, try me. You might have a lot more in common than you realise. Life? Yeah, I have one of those. You know when you try your hardest? Try to keep everything together. But it's like you're the only one who cares or can do anything about it. Tell me about it. These days, I can't do anything right. I try to be a good daughter. I try to be a good sister, a good friend, a good writer, a good artist. I even try to be a good girlfriend. But nothing works. I always fall short in some way. It's like I can never get a break. Sounds like you're wearing a lot of hats, Kaima. I know we don't really know each other well, but I see how you are with Hodan and others and with your sister. But I can guarantee you that your efforts and how much you care about them, it doesn't go unnoticed. All right? And I read your blog and I think... You read my blog? You know, just like over uh, Hodan's shoulder, she's reading right. it. <laughs> Look, my point is, you're a very talented writer, and I'm sure that your paintings are just as excellent. With the creative industry, it's just a matter of time before your work's recognised for the brilliance that it is. I'm sure of it. Thanks. Someone who doesn't read my blog. Let's just say I have a natural intuition with these things, eh? Is this person you tried to be a good girlfriend to? Huh? Oh, um, no. It's my sister. She's left me loads of voicemails and texts. She's younger than me, but she's so protective sometimes. She must be concerned. <laughs> but come, let's get you back to her. No, it's okay. You don't have to, Joseph. I'll be okay. I think I literally just needed a shoulder to cry on. <laughs> Look at me chewing your ear off. Please, just go and finish off your run. I've interrupted it for long enough. How can I leave you to go home alone feeling like this? I mean, how could I explain to your sister that I left you alone during this time just so I could run a few kilometers? Come, lead the way. We can bitch about the world some more. This guy, is he an ex or? I heard back from Diego Publishing this morning. They said no to the photo book. Oh no, I'm so sorry, sis. And then I got another final notice letter for the electricity. Yeah, that's all. And that West called me to say that they're withdrawing my overdraft facility and that I have to pay it all back. What? They can't just do that. They can't just ring you and say that. Yeah, they can. They said they'll be putting it in writing and that I have a month to pay it all back. And I haven't even paid for the mortgage this month on Amat. Oh my god. So after all of that, I decided to go for a run. Clear my head. And whilst I'm running, who do I see? Who? Michael. Michael, your ex Michael? Yep. Yeah. With his wife. Wife? He married her. You guys only broke up last year. Tell me about it. And in our five, no, maybe seven minute conversation, he managed to tell me how else his life has improved since we broke up. He's now a banker. And he's just bought a three bedroom house in the Hampton with his wife, who, of course, is a lawyer in one of the Magic Circle firms. Oh, wow. I blame you on Emma. Didn't you say that nobody ever stays with the rebound? You gave me false assurance. What? <laughs> So I let them go on their way. And then I sat down on the nearest bench and the tears just came. I'm here struggling to pay bills, single with a dead-end career, and after everything that he's done, 
there's Michael just flourishing, thriving, happy. I couldn't stop crying. I couldn't move. And then Joseph found me. I don't even know how long I was there before he found me. I'm so sorry, sis. I tried to tell Cassandra to cancel the birthday dinner, but she kept insisting. I don't want to celebrate. What is there to celebrate? Look, I know it feels like everything's getting on top of you at the moment, but I can get a job. I can help out. No, Anama, you are not working. Concentrate on your studies, no. Fine. I'll ask Dad for some money. No, Anama. I told him I could look after you. And you are. Better than anyone else would have been able to, okay? We just need a little financial help. And besides, Kalima, you're my sister, not my parent. This isn't your responsibility. But Anama... No, I'm not having any of it. I'll get him to give me some money to cover the mortgage and the bills for about two months and we can go from there. But I still won't even have enough money to pay for food or anything or pay off my overdraft. And I'll get him to give me some more to cover the overdraft and the food, okay? Anama, he won't have that much. He's struggling himself. Well, he's going to have to find that much. It's not fair that you have to carry everything on your own. So, about Michael, how are you feeling? I know I have no feelings left towards him. I even feel a little sorry for his wife. After the amount of times he cheated on me, I just know he hasn't changed. She looks a little older too, so maybe she's just desperate. Okay, well, you don't know her. And besides, we're talking about you, not her. She's not the one sitting in a park by herself crying her eyes out, is she? I know. I know, I'm sorry, that was Kay. So, how are you feeling? Useless. Hopeless. Seeing him was like the final nail in the coffin of an awful day. Seeing him was a reminder of the life that I could have had. A life that I used to want. A steady stream of income, a steady relationship, wealthy parents-in-laws to help me out with ease. Seeing him reminded me of how angry I am with Dad. With Mum. With Mum? It's not Mum's fault that she died. I know. I know, and I don't mean that. I just... I don't know. I just wish my life was different. Normal. Like Michael's wife. You don't know his wife. And you for sure nothing like Michael. Okay? You're awesome and amazing. And your dreams and ambitions are extraordinary. You need to stop beating yourself up about the things that are outside your control, okay? You can't do anything about Dad or about Mum's death or about the way we were brought up. You just need to focus on changing your future. It's going to be hard, yes, but remember, God knows our hearts. Okay? Hope the third makes the heart sick, but dream fulfilled is a tree of life. Your success is coming too. But sis, you need to ask for help when you need it. I know. I know, I know. Okay? Thank you, Anama. Okay. Why don't you have a shower and have an early night? You need to get plenty of rest for your dinner party tomorrow. And I'm at... Nope. I'm, I'm not having any of it. And when you're finished, we can use one of the little fancy face masks and have a little sister time. We can use my face mask? Yes, we. Listen, this is the only time you're allowed to touch them, okay? Yeah. How did you get to be so wise and mature, hmm? Oh, please. I've always been like this. <laughs> Aren't we so enamoured with this new album and just seeing that creative output? Um, and she's just totally just dominating it right now. The title of Major. Um, I'm hey. in love with the album. Hey! I'm sorry, I didn't want to wake you. No, it's okay. I can't actually fall asleep. What's up? How come you're back so late? And I'm at my dinner for you. Oh, did she? That's sweet. I moved your PJs to the chair. You okay? Yeah. No. I quit the leadership at church. What? Yeah. I just couldn't take it anymore. I felt like such a hypocrite. <laughs> wow. I thought you were really enjoying it. I just wasn't ready. And I'm going back home. To the week? 
Yeah, I love him and I'm tired of acting. I just need to be myself. Wow, okay. I know, I know. I just... I just need to be me, the real me. I need to figure things out. I have to go home. I understand, B. Do what's right for you. Just make sure you're not just quitting church because it's making it harder for you to feel comfortable with your sin. Wow. Thanks, Pastor. When did you go all Christian on me? I thought you were still about the universe. <laughs> hey, a girl's allowed to explore a little, okay? Besides, I'm just repeating some of the same jargon that you used on me. But like I said, I support you no matter what decision you make. And I think you going back will be a good opportunity for you to talk. Thanks. You're right about everything. So when are you going back? Tonight. Right after I devour the food her mama made for me. <laughs> next on life of hers thank you all so much for coming here tonight some of you may not know this but after our mum died nine years ago i stopped celebrating my birthday because it just seemed weird without her why would i go to someone for six hours let alone six months where corruption is the is the is the primary culture it really does have a little bit of a point oh, please don't even get me started with you why was she crying <sighs> i don't know i think literally everything just like getting on top of her like really bad stuff and she's just getting a bit overwhelmed but she's fine now. I'm just grateful Jason found her. Chosen. 